All right, so I'm going to start with I'm going to start with some sunscreen and I like to use the Black Girl sunscreen. Um and just so y'all know, I am making reels on my phone, so you're going to see me do some awkward stuff. So just go with it. <laughs> oh. But anyway, this sunscreen doubles as a moisturizer. So whenever I wear makeup, um, I don't like to pile on too much. So I just use my sunscreen. But even if I um, am not going to do makeup, I still use sunscreen every day. So... That in. And my face gets really red after I rub it. It's not um, irritated or anything. It's just flush from blood circulation. While that's absorbing a little bit, I'm gonna work on my eyes. Well, my eyelashes. So for my eyelashes, I do use a little bit of concealer and this eyebrow pencil from Anastasia. Um, it's the only pencil that works for me. I have tried other brands, but the pigment for the Anastasia is just top tier. So I use that and it is kind of pricey. Um, but NYX has really good pencils if you're looking for something on a budget. It's just that for me, the pigment is not the best and it takes a little bit more effort to, um, you know, get the pencil to apply. I have gotten out of routine with these eyebrows because I haven't really been wearing too much makeup. So they don't really look like how I want them to, but I just gotta get back in the habit of this makeup application. And I feel like eyebrows are the hardest to master. I don't want them too thick. I'm trying to let my eyebrows grow in because I have overarched them so many times to the point now where they don't even grow the way that they used to. I used to have really pretty thick eyebrows before I started um, messing with them. So, it's all good though. It's all good. All right, this is the concealer that I use. It's from Sephora. I don't even know if they have this anymore. I'm just trying to hurry up and get rid of it. Um, it's really light because I purchased this pre-COVID. And um, my skin complexion is definitely not what it was then. And so I just couldn't throw it away because it was unopened. So I'm just going to use it and hopefully get done with it quickly. 
because I don't use it under my eyes. I just use it for my eyebrows. It's really nice and thick, but, um, and it'll be good for like under eye concealing, but I just can't do it because of the shade. Like I'm not one of those girlies that's gonna make her face super light in areas and super dark. Kudos to those that do, I don't, and that's okay. I just like to take a flat brush to kind of blend that in and bring it down. That's all I really do with my eyebrows nowadays. There was a time where it took me like 20 minutes to do brows and I just can't understand what my thought process was. It wasn't that I didn't know how to do it. I guess I was just trying to achieve a look. I don't know. <laughs> but this is what I use to, I guess, kind of seal everything in place. Eyebrows are done. So now I'm gonna apply a little bit of primer. This is my primer of choice. I try to match the primer with the brand. Um, you have to match silicone with silicone and water with water. And I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me, which I believe is water-based. So I'm gonna use their primer, it just makes sense. I'm just going to put it, I usually just try to concentrate on my cheeks where my pores are really, really large, even though I don't mind a little bit of texture on my, um, when I'm done. absorbing I'm gonna go ahead I might just put I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow on just a little bit and I'm gonna use my Anastasia palette um, this is one of my favorite palettes I don't even know if they make this anymore I went looking for one at Sephora and I couldn't find it also did not have the palette I don't know what's going on I don't know if they just got rid of it or what but I might have to just go on the website and look but the pigment is amazing, y'all. It's an expensive palette, but it is so good. 
and I'm not gonna put a lot of eyeshadow on it. Like one color, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I used to wear like three or four colors blended. Who has time for any of that anymore? I don't. <laughs> Just a little something, right? Maybe another day. But for today, we're just trying to look presentable, not glam out. I feel like that's good enough. That's good enough. I can't. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this glitter one on though. Just for a little, a little something. I don't do eyeshadow it's just I've gotten so lazy with makeup I don't even think people really wear eyeshadow anymore to be honest I don't know I don't know anything I'm so out of the loop That's gonna have to be good enough, cause baby, I don't have all day. I ain't got all day to be doing this. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's move on. I'm going to try to put on a little bit of eyeshadow. And I'm so nervous because I haven't. First of all, I've always sucked with eyeshadow. And I haven't worn eyeshadow in forever. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do a little wing. Let's see what it gives. All right, step one. Step two. Oh, I'm so nervous. Did I do it? No, I mean, I feel like I should leave well enough alone. I'm so nervous. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. Because you can always clean it up. And that's just what I'm going to have to do. Because it's a mess. Lord, and now they're not going to... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh god okay let me try to clean this up y'all let me try to clean it up i'm gonna take a little concealer and clean up these wings i am so rusty let me see forgot that I have these little they call them shadow shields I can use that next time to guide my wing I totally forgot that I had that so I'll do that the next time because this got me stressed I'm gonna do some eye uh, what is this called mascara this is from elf I actually got this as a a free little you know how it's hard to give you like if you buy so much merchandise they'll give you something and so I think I bought some makeup and they gave it to me for free but this is what the brush looks like This is what the brush is a thicker brush, which I like those better than I do the slender brushes. Um, 
Now, this mascara didn't get good reviews, but I like it. It's waterproof. It did not run. It did not clump. I feel like the pigment is really good. You don't need a whole lot. It does give me length and volume, so it's a lot of drama if you want to just wear it on its own. I don't even know if they sell this in the store anymore. I have no idea because it's not my normal mascara, but again, I'm just trying to get rid of some older products that have been sitting around untouched and unopened so my mascara of choice is um, L'Oreal Voluminous the best if you look at for drugstore so I don't know if you can see And I'm only putting on mascara. I think I'm going to do some falsies today because I'm feeling a little frisky. No, I'm just playing. I'm going to put on some lashes today. So weird. And I like to wear my mascara under my lashes so it blends in. But you can totally do mascara on your own if you don't know how to do lashes. That's cool. Okay, so that's going to dry. And now I'm going to do my concealer and my foundation. So my foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me. And I put it in this bottle because the Maybelline doesn't have like a spout or a pump or whatever. It just pours out and you end up pouring too much. And then I'm going to follow it with their concealer. So I usually do like a color correction under my um, eyes because I do have some discoloration, some hyperpigmentation. Because I don't get enough sleep um, ever. No, not ever, but most nights I don't really get the amount of sleep that I want. Um, so, but that's about all the foundation I'm going to use. I'm just going to dot it on my face. Maybelline Fit Me is the best drugstore foundation. You can get a bottle for about $7. Okay, it does not oxidize at all. It blends really well. Oh, that might be a little too much. And I like to use my handy dandy beauty blender and I start from the center and just pounce it into my face like so. I don't like really heavy foundation, so that's why this is also one of my favorite ones because um, it goes on really, really light. And you can build it if you are one of those slow coverage girlies, but this is more light to medium coverage. I don't necessarily have to cover too much. I'm okay if texture <clears throat> shows or if um, I'm okay with texture showing, I'm okay with my freckles showing. Um, you know, I just don't like that caked up look. And no shade to anybody that does. Look, this is just my personal whatever. But I just wanted a, um, an even canvas, you know what I mean? I just want all my skin to look even. Not oxidized, not too light, not too dark. Even. Okay, let me get up here to this double chin, baby. Okay, and that's it. That's all I need. That's all you need. I'm gonna take a concealer brush now and I'm gonna blend this concealer in. The shade of Maybelline Fit Me that I wear is 128. This is the Fit Me Matte 128. And the concealer is, I think 128 as well. No, it's, what the heck is it? Sand, number 20. Mm -hmm. I do not bake. I do not use powder. I used to back in the day when it became a thing, when it was a trend. 
but I try my best not to follow trends. So, and it's unnecessary. I mean, unless you're gonna wear your makeup for an extended amount of time, you can do it if you want to, but I don't feel the need. So, um, I'm gonna, put it I'm gonna put a little blush on. This is a cream blush by Sephora, the Sephora brand. And, um, let me see. I usually blend two colors, but I just... It goes on kind of heavy, but I use my beauty blender afterwards to blend it into my skin. Take your beauty blender and you just kind of buff out the edges, first lines. I like to spray. I use the Morphe Continuous Setting Misting Spray. Okay. It is one of the best. If I don't use that, then I like to use my um, Urban Decay All Nighter. That was my very first setting spray that I used and I love it. Um. What am I doing now? All right, let's work on these lashes while that's setting. Um, I like to use the Kiss lashes. You get these from Walmart. Okay. And these are the So Wispy. If I don't do these, I do Ardell. Or, you know, you can get, I've seen a 30 pack on Amazon that I want to try, but I just don't like those big Betty Boo eyelashes. I just like something nice and subtle. And I like to use the Duo Glue. This is the brush on. It's latex free if you have a latex allergy. But I like it because I have better control over the amount that I'm putting on the lashes. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to let it, let the, the glue dry a little. I haven't really worn lashes in a while either, so <laughs> let's see what we get. So, I kind of, how do I do this? I put it in the center. Let's just give it a second. And then... Okay, I did it. Okay, so you see, like it's drama, but it's not too much drama. This for like women of a certain age. Let me do things that younger women do. It's like a nice classy look, no shade. All right, let's put this other one on. And I see that it's not a lot of glue. Duo is my favorite glue through and through. Will always be.
Oh my gosh. If your thumb touches the glue, it's a wrap. It, it's just a wrap. You got to start all the way over. Okay. Now sometimes you have to go back over the eyelash with a little bit of eyeliner and I'm going to do that. Woo, I got to get used to these things all over again. Okay. Put a little bronzer. I just like to put a little bit of bronzer. This is a L'Oreal Infallible. So I am putting on a little bit more than I normally would because I have to shoot some content today and I'm using a um, DSLR camera and then, excuse me, sometimes it's hard to pick up makeup depending upon your location and all of that and just with a DSLR because it's a HD camera. So I put on a little extra. Um, I am going to put on a little bit of highlight. Now, this is from Becca Champagne Pop, and I broke it, so I had to put it in the jar. You know, I wonder what the heck is girl doing. That's what happened. I probably shouldn't even put that on because sometimes it doesn't pick up well on HD cameras, but whatevs. All right, the last thing that I'm going to do put on do I want to do matte or gloves alright alright I'm going to go slay today bye y'all <laughs>